welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to set up can enable and zone alarm to work with Black Ops 2. So let's jump right in. First, you're going to have to install both zone alarm and can enable. I'll put both download links in the description for you. When both programs are installed, uh, first open up can enable. If you get a warning saying the Windows firewall is enabled, do not worry about that. And just wait for it to load up. When Kane Enable starts out, the first thing you want to do is go to Configure, and then you want to choose your adapter. At the moment, I'm actually connected to two different routers, that's why the IP addresses are different. But uh, this one here is my wireless, and the top one is my wired. You can actually tell if it says Ethernet controller. So I like wired better than wireless, so I'm going to choose wired, and then just hit OK. Next, you want to hit the sniffer button, which is right here. Uh, you want to click on the sniffer tab. Uh, you want to be on hose. Right click on the white area and hit scan MAC addresses. Make sure it says all hosts on my subnet and then hit OK. Before you actually do that, make sure your Xbox is actually on. Otherwise, you will not get this IP. Uh, as you can see, Microsoft Corporation, that's my Xbox IP. And remember the last subset, mine's uh, 46. Next, you want to go to APR on the bottom tabs. In this top white area, you want to click and then you want to go to uh, this plus sign, add a list. You want to fi find your default gateway, that's usually the point one number. And then on the right hand side, you want to find your Xbox IP, mine's 46. And I hit OK. Next, you want to make sure this is actually working, so click on this little symbol up here. That's uh, Start Stop APR. And just wait long enough. There you go. Since I'm actually not in a party with anyone, the only IPs showing up are the Xbox Live server, which is this bottom one and the uh, COD servers, which is this top one. So stop the APR because we don't need this at the moment, and just close it down for now. If you get an error when you click Start APR, and this is something like the HTTPS socket can't be binded or anything, and normally that is due to Skype being open. If you open up Skype, and you actually go to Tools, Options, uh, if you go down to Advanced, no, click on that, connection, and you want to uncheck use port 80 and 443 as alternatives for incoming connections. That will solve most of the errors with Kane. If you get any others, just post in the comments below and I will try helping you with them. So let's move on. Next you want to start uh, Zone Alarm. Kind of a weird program, it just shows up in your taskbar. So double click on the uh, icon, hit View Details, and the first thing you want to do is go to the Application Control where it says program secured. This number may be different with, for you. And you want to try finding Kane. It will say Kane password recover utility. If it does not show up, start Kane back up and on the bottom right you'll get a pop-up saying asking if you want to allow or deny this program to run and just click it allow and then it'll just appear. Okay. Uh, what you want to change on the smart defense, you want to change to a custom. Trust level is restricted. Outbound trusted, you want to allow. Outbound internet is deny. Then inbound trusted, allow. And then inbound internet, deny. So it just shows up as allow, deny, allow, deny. Hit OK. That step was actually optional, but it will help prevent zone alarm to stop working. Because after a while, for some reason, it just stops. Next thing you want to do is go to settings. Um, at the moment, just put these both to medium. Your trusted zone, always keep on medium. In your public, if you want to block connections, you want to put it to high, and if you want to allow connections through, you put it to medium. So next, you go to view zones. Okay, since I have two routers, they both show up here. Make sure all your routers show up as public. So let's change that, so they're both public now. You want to go to add, IP range. And we're going to do the Xbox Live server, so it's 65.55.42.0, and at the end you want to do 65.55.42.255, and let's name that Xbox Live servers. And next one we're going to be doing the Black Ops 2 servers, or actually it's all COD servers. It's 209.170.0.0, 209.170.0.0. .0 .0. 205.255, and that's COD servers. Next, we're going to be checking to see this works, so just click OK. 
uh, put this to high. Uh, open up cane. Let me find it. Here it is. Go to sniffer, APR, and start poisoning. Let's bring this off to the right. And just wait long enough for them to show up. There we go. So those block ops two. Eh, Xbox Live's not showing up yet. Next you want to start searching on um, Black Ops 2, and if there's no IP showing up, it's actually working, and if you wait long enough, you'll actually pull your own lobby. I'll show you that it's actually blocking, because if you just turn this to medium, you'll start IP... Oh, fucking it. You'll start seeing IP showing up, as you can see right there. Normal is a lot faster. Kind of weird. So, if you right-click, hit Remove All, then Delete All Entries. That is it for this tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, just post them in the comment section below, and I'll try getting back to you.